This how-to video will show you how to prepare the Hamilton C6 ventilator for use. This educational video does not replace the device instructions for use. Be sure to read the Ventilator Operator's Manual, as well as instructions for use that accompany the humidifier or other devices, breathing circuits, and other consumables. Pay particular attention to important safety and hygiene information. There are a few steps you need to follow before starting ventilation. The whole procedure takes approximately three minutes. Make sure the power cable is firmly connected in the socket to prevent accidental disconnection, and then connect it to the primary power outlet. The battery status indicator shows the charge status of the battery, even when the ventilator is turned off. When the indicator is solid green, the battery is fully charged and connected to primary power. When flashing, it means that the battery is still charging. If the battery is not charging, for whatever reason, the indicator will remain dark. Make sure the ventilator is connected to a power source prior to starting ventilation. If you haven't done so already, Connect the oxygen hose to the ventilator and then to the gas supply or a gas cylinder. To connect the breathing circuit, do the following. First, install the expiratory valve. Then select the appropriate breathing circuit and components. Third, Assemble the breathing circuit. Then connect the external devices and sensors. Finally, perform the pre-operational checks. If you are using a single-use expiratory valve set, first remove the safety cover. Ensure that the membrane is properly aligned with the expiratory valve housing and the metal plate is visible and facing upwards. Position the valve in the expiratory port ensuring it is straight, and twist it clockwise until it locks into place. If you are using an autoclavable expiratory valve set, first assemble the expiratory valve set by placing the silicone membrane onto the expiratory valve housing. Ensure that the metal plate is facing upwards and is visible. Position the valve in the expiratory port ensuring it is straight, and twist it clockwise until it locks into place. To prevent patient or ventilator contamination, connect a bacterial and viral filter between the patient and the inspiratory port. Install a water bag or bottle above the humidifier. Choose the correct breathing circuit according to the patient group or selected treatment. The following information applies if you are using the Hamilton BC8022 breathing circuit or any other double limb breathing circuit for an active humidifier. First, insert the humidifier chamber. Connect the shorter blue tube to the inspiratory port on the ventilator, and then connect the expiratory tube to the expiratory valve. Insert the water feed line into the water bag or bottle. Make sure that all electrical contacts on the breathing circuit match the connecting element on the humidifier. Insert a flow sensor into the breathing circuit in front of the patient connection, that is, the Y piece. Attach the blue and clear tubes to the flow sensor connection ports on the ventilator. To prevent water accumulating in the flow sensor and tubing, Position the flow sensor tubing on top of the flow sensor. The gas temperature is measured at the Y-piece by means of the temperature probe integrated 
in the inspiratory limb. Keep the inspiratory limb positioned correctly. If you are using a coaxial breathing set with the proximal flow sensor, first connect the main tube to the inspiratory port on the ventilator. Then connect the expandable expiratory tube to the expiratory valve. Finally, attach the blue and clear tubes to the flow sensor connection ports on the ventilator. To prevent water accumulating in the flow sensor and tubing, position the flow sensor tubing on top of the flow sensor. If you are using a mainstream CO2 sensor, connect it at this point to the corresponding connection port. Slide the CO2 sensor onto the airway adapter. Align the arrows on both components and press them together until you hear a click. Then connect the sensor with the airway adapter to the breathing circuit before the flow sensor. Position the breathing circuit in such a way that the tubes will not be pushed, pulled, or kinked if the patient moves. The next step is to perform the pre-operational checks.